Well, good day, hard-nosed collectors, which might not be so many of us, but for me, I like these little cartoon vehicles here by Hot Wheels. This is a 2004 first edition and probably the only edition of the Cadillac V16 concept car. So let's take this look here. I actually have the normal casting of this car, which I believe came on the same year. So I'm going to do a... Ah, man, what's it up with this thing? I'm probably going to do a normal wheels on that one. Not sure if I'm going to do the same type of wheels on this because, right, this is such a cartoony car. Oh boy, yeah, I'm not even going to compare it to the photos, but uh, let's take a look at these details here. So we've got uh, the giant, massive Hot Wheels tires here and wheels here, and then like, probably the medium sized ones in the back. These guys do roll pretty well because of those large wheels in the front, I guess, and then the vented details are nicely set in. They're quite deep. The front end, headlights are well-defined, sticking out, and then the grill's really well-defined as well. Deep details there. Some vents there, can add some paint. Yeah, all right, so very nicely uh, defined grill there. Huge, massive hood. Unfortunately, the casting part here is really messy, you know, too much metal flowing in there and not trimmed off well. I'm too lazy to repaint it, though. Uh, yeah, the canopy is really, really shallow. And then the back, nice. We got some taillights and the third brake light printed on, and then the exhausts are chromed like the real one, or maybe the real one has billet aluminum exhaust, and then again, pretty deep uh, recesses. So tiny little canopy, of course. And then uh, it's a chrome interior because it's tied to the front and the back pieces as well. So, all right. Uh, on the bottom, we have the standard stuff probably. Hot Wheels logo, what it is. And then uh, copyright date, riveted together. Yeah, so very cool. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm not sure. We'll have to see what kind of wheels it come up with on this one. And we're back here with some wheels here. Uh, yeah, I had a problem with these wheels. I decided to blank off the air openings. I could have printed this myself on my printer to make this work, but I like to make my models, my CAD models, available to everyone. So, in order for Shapeways to print this, this has to be blocked off because that's just too thin to, for them to print reliably. So, that's what's going on with those that guy. The tire is a separate piece. But the wheel is all one piece, of course, and you have to add that black detail. But I do have the little Cadillac badge in there as well. And then, uh... I basically clipped off a wheel and reused the axle so I didn't have to drill the thing apart. I actually had to print this twice. The first set of wheels, for some reason, I made a mistake and the tires were really small, so I made them again, but... You'll see, it doesn't want to roll. I think either the axle is bent. Yeah, I think my axle is bent. Oh well because I'm prying off the original wheel because I clipped them off. Then I add some black paint into the vents here and the vents up here and the grill as well. And then the tail lights were already there, but I think I added some black paint in the exhaust tips there. So not too much to it. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look here. Someone actually drew this car as a cartoon. Pretty cool. <laughs> Very quick drawing, it looks like. So I don't really have a uh, True 64, but I do have this 187 scale. This is a Ricco model. This is quite old. I mean, it probably came out around 2003, this model. But look at the detail of this thing. Look at the interior. Notice this, look how the gauges are silver and black. And the dash has a separate color on it, right? So, that's very often, again, why I get really angry at a lot of 164 company is being so lazy and not adding a lot of details that you can get in other scales and these Ricos weren't very expensive I think it was probably like 15 bucks back and back then so and well justified really uh, so look at the Cadillac printing on the back I think is that a license plate? I don't know can't tell but uh, yeah the badge there the lens tail lights, the lens headlights, right? So, very nice. Okay, so I think you can still find this online, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, I don't even know if I should pull out a Chorokyu. You know what? Hold on, I do have a Cadillac. Alright, stand correct. Not Chorokyu, but it's a freebie. I think it's a Kirin, Kirin Coffee freebie of this old 33 Cadillac. And then uh, I got two more. This is a 2008 Cadillac. You know, these could be from Suntory Boss. I really wish they would say what who made these on the bottom. I don't know. Here's another freebie 67 Cadillac. So, I do have three deformed caddies. I did add some Hot Wheels uh, things on this one here, though. They're not Hot Wheels wheels. They're designed for Hot Wheels. You know, aftermarket rims you can buy on eBay. Okay, so this hard nose is definitely really strange in its proportioning, but it's kind of the charm of it, I think. Let's get this thing spinning up on the uh, show coaster today. And today we have Darth Vader. He's a 3D printed Darth Vader. And uh, he's there guarding the vehicle. Or that's his car, I guess, if he drove a car. Alright, well, <sighs> yeah, it's it's interesting. Right. <laughs> Just look at it. It's really interesting what uh, the guys over there at Mattel did. So I think it's cool. It's very cool. At least for the price, it's cool. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for these hard nose uh, castings, but no one else seems to like these, so they don't seem to be really expensive, uh, you know, on eBay. So you might want to collect some of these yourself, even though they are old. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.